32 TSBH Jayco J Flight here at Halot RV of Coldwater, Michigan. There may be some options, upgrades, or fabrics in this video that may not necessarily line up with the uh, picture tour we put together or the listing that we take the time to write up, but uh, you know that's just kind of a quick disclaimer. This video is here just to really show you how these are laid out and why the J Flight is the number one selling travel trailer since 2005 and counting. That's 10 consecutive years the J-Flight family of trailers has been the number one seller. Uh, so why? Um, let's kind of start from the front here. First of all, uh, we're doing 30 pound propane tanks. That's going to give you 50% more dry camp time. Now you're going to find a lot of trailers nowadays with a power tongue jack and power awning, but Jayco does spend the money to put the nicer motor in these appliances. So, you know, you might see something that says power awning, but hook some power up to it when you're shopping or you know come here and ask us to do it we'll hook up a battery jump box like you see right here and watch the speed and the ease at, uh, with which the uh, motors move and you'll see that there is a difference out there um, you know they uh, the look of a J flight has always been um, very you know wholesome and appealing to a lot of folks uh, things like this in this class if you start looking around um, some manufacturers won't even put windows in the sides of the slide outs uh, Jayco not only does that, but their windows also open, which is another thing you have to check for. Uh, so you can get more uh, airflow, more cross ventilation, uh, you know, more comfort. Because you'll find, especially if you guys haven't camped before, and the people who have camped know, you, you don't always run your air conditioner. Actually, quite a bit you do not. Now, we have this outfitted with uh, several packages. Uh, the one in this video features an elite package, a thermal package, and this is generally how we will stock stuff. So other than maybe the fabric schemes, most anything you see in this video should hold true to the things that we keep in stock. You know, for instance, we add the uh, uh, ladder on the back here. That'll give you easy access to your fully walkable roofing. And that is one area where these J flights are really supreme in their class. They have fifth wheel level roofing in a travel trailer. Um, I mean, you know, it's basically tap danceable. If you want, I mean, you want walkable and maintainable, this goes above and beyond. Um, there's actually videos on YouTube showing you the differences in how this roof is built versus, uh, you know, the industry standard travel trailer uh, in this class. Now, uh, this is a full outdoor kitchen model, as you see here. And uh, Jayco's recently redesigned these, and I wanted to uh, kind of take a minute to go over them. They've added a little bit of extra storage here on the side, which has been a little bit tough to kind of spot in the photos. With the, uh, the, the sunlight where it's at right now, it's not being really conducive to camera work, so I apologize for that if I have to zoom in and out a few times. Uh, we still have a, a big full-size um, dad's medicine cabinet here. Always nice to keep a cold drink on hand, and actually getting a, a quick drink is one of the two primary reasons people are often in and out of their camper. So this thing immediately cuts down on the amount of dirt you're going to track through your trailer. Um, now they're giving you extra storage space outside, and they're giving you bigger cabinets, deeper, and notice that you're getting nicer metal struts to hold your doors open. Uh, a lot of manufacturers with outdoor kitchens, if they're giving you anything, it's a plastic strut, and they tend to wear out after a little while. Um, notice that uh, standard item here, inside, outside, anywhere you see ceiling lights in a Jago, you have LED lighting. Um, that's something that they went to so that you don't have to constantly replace incandescent bulbs. They use less electricity so it's easier on your battery. It's just a better fit overall. Big wide open space over here and someone said, man, you know, it'd be really nice if they put a power outlet here for like a microwave. Well, they thought of that. They, they just kind of hit it out of plain view so that you don't necessarily... See, if, if you're splashing water around, it's going to be a little easier to hit these wall sockets. But when it's undermounted under a cabinet, it's real tough. Not impossible, tough. Now. I've had someone say, geez, I just can't believe they really cut this corner right here and they gave me a, a little two burner stove instead of a grill. That's where you're wrong. You have a two burner stove and this will include a bumper mounted grill. So you get both with a J flight. Um, that's, that's the best part. So you can, you know, you can actually cook a Bratton burger and the beans on the side over here at the same time. And notice that even outside you're getting full ball bearing uh, drawers, full extension. Um, you know, all plywood boxing. Um, listen, to, listen to my wedding ring here. All hardwood door fronts on these. You know, you're getting far nicer facilities, even in your outside kitchen of a J Flight. Now, um, part of the Elite package is the upgrade to the aluminum wheels. Those will, uh, you know, not rust uh, and, and pit like common steel wheels will. 
Now, uh, a couple things down here that separates J Flight from the competition. Again, why why go J Flight versus somewhere else? On a travel trailer, you're getting a Moride CRE 3000 suspension. Years ago, that was used on fifth wheels exclusively, and you're seeing this on a travel trailer now. It's a rubber ride suspension. It offers 50% more wheel-to-wheel -wheel travel, meaning the wheels can tilt independently 50% further. Long story short, that's going to give you in the vehicle a far smoother ride. It'll keep the trailer from bucking around so hard. And now this is something that's kind of hard to show on camera, but if you look under here, listen. That is a galvanized steel wheel well cover. So. God forbid you pick up some debris on the road and you do have a blowout. These J flights have a protective wheel well that is going to actively work to try to prevent your trailer from uh, getting damaged from a, a tire basically shredding and exploding down the road. Now, I mentioned the power awnings on these uh, are uh, equipped with a better motor, but they are also adjustable here. So you can uh, adjust the pitch of these up, uh, up and down. You can lock them in place however you want to. You can tilt them that way so the rain can uh, phase off. Also, this is something that a lot of manufacturers are catching on to now, but Jayco really beat everyone to the market on this, is the LED lighting right against the base of the awning here. Now notice the side of the trailer is white, underside of the awning is white. This light up here is going to cause this whole thing to glow and cast an indirect light down onto your campsite. Obviously during the daytime, you don't see much other than just me flicking the light off and on, but at nighttime, it'll give your whole campsite an awesome little glow. And again, their motors are better, faster, stronger on a J flight. You see how quickly this moves? I, uh, I mean, what I like about this, you wake up in the middle of the night and there's just a freak rainstorm you weren't planning on, you don't have to go outside and wrestle with an awning. You don't even have to get dressed or put on pants. That quickly, you stand up, walk to your command center, close the awning, go back to bed. That's it. That's all there is to it. Again, remember that your uh, fabrics in the pictures might look a little different. We sell this uh, super popular model from the most popular brand of travel trailers. There's a large volume of these that go in and out. I can't remember the name of this color scheme. Pardon me. I, I think it's either Fawn or Cashew. It's one of the two, I believe, but double check me. Uh, this one features leatherette sofa with um, fabric highlights and leatherette accents throughout. Now, uh, Jayco went to a full trifold memory foam hide bed on here that folds out like a queen bed. Far more comfortable than a common inner spring. It has a <laughs> infinitely better service record than most air beds. There are good air beds out there, don't get me wrong. The problem is a lot of manufacturers are using very cheap models and it was a good idea they got away from them. Now notice something different here on Jayco's u dinette. This is the rear bench. This is the bench that goes back here. However, in a J flight, the whole rear bench floats. Now, what's really cool about this is when you kind of put it up where I had it, if you take the table out, it's like a built-in pack and play. So if you have a little baby, then uh, you know it's the perfect spot. Now, uh, there is storage under here, easy access little, this is the toy chest to me. This is the perfect place just to like, all right kids, dump everything in here, put the lid on, push it away, we're done. But you do also maintain easy access storage under both sides of the bench here. And this is something I do like to point out, is we're looking at uh, full plywood construction here under the bench. You're not looking at particle board, press board, or anything like that. Um, you know, you're looking at uh, two pedestal legs to keep the table more sturdy. Uh, your, again, your windows and the sides of the slide out do open and uh, they do have, here we go, nightshades, nicer nightshades. And because we have both valances and lambrequins closing this off, you have 100% privacy in here if you want to. So if you want to sneak a nap, you just don't want the neighbors peeking at you, pull that down. There you go. No one gets to see what's going on inside the camper. It doesn't really matter though, because these windows have like an automotive tint. Um, let me uh, point over here. You see how dark the window is over here on this RV? That's kind of the same way that they are in this J flight. You can't see into the trailer, but you can see out very easily, even without those shades. Now, this particular camper, we have added Jayco's thermal package, which is a difficult thing for me to show you, but long story short, it adds an extra layer of astrofoil insulation to like the roof, the floor, the slide outs. And where that's important to me is again, if you have a baby and you're gonna sleep them over here in the little pack and play that I suggested, if you don't have that thermal package, then you are not providing insulation to that space. And that's the thing a lot of people don't talk about is most slide outs have virtually no insulation. It's a giant hole in the wall. The most important uh, you know, aspects in terms of heating and cooling are certainly the roof and the floor, but 
it's not to say that the sidewalls aren't important either, and those big spaces occupied by the slides certainly factor into that. Again, full ball bearing extension glides all the way through. Um, you know, with the thermal package, I'm not going to tell you this is going to be an Alaska Four Seasons camper, but it's going to be as close to that as the travel trailer can really offer you. And even in this class, we're seeing the nicer hardware. Again, the, this, this sink setup, this is not the reason to buy a J-Flight. You know, what I'm showing you here uh, with this dinette, this is not the reason to buy a J-Flight. It's all of this stuff together. That's This might be, a, this is probably a dollar more than something else you've looked at. And if not, that guy is trying to take you for a ride. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the culmination of all these factors that add up. Part of the elite package on this trailer is the extra skylight in the kitchen. And notice the size of it. I mean, that's one of the reasons with no lights on in here. It's very comfortable. If you're dry camping, you don't have to burn up your battery all day. Now, a J-Flight is taller. Um, so you see how you know how big the panel is here above the, the microwave. Industry standard travel trailers are 78 inches tall. J-Flights are 81 and have been for years. And that's a huge difference. It's a big difference when you're climbing into a bunk. It's, it's, it means the difference between more cabinets, bigger windows. And where I really appreciate it is it means more headroom in the shower. That's a huge factor. Standard in a J-Flight is an eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer. What that means in English, instead of a six, it's 33% larger and you gain a whole extra shelf in your refrigerator. So this is a big bunkhouse. You're gonna sleep a lot of people. You gotta feed a lot of people. Um, our air conditioners on these, we will generally upgrade to a 15,000 BTU instead of a 13.5. In English, it means 50% more air conditioning power. Um, in this class, a lot of times manufacturers are not giving you shower wall panel surround, so the water that splashes off your body while you're bathing uh, will, over time, water damage your walls, even if you don't have a leak. Um, you know, central air and heat gets you um, all the way through even here into the bathroom. And again, in this level of travel trailer, a true porcelain stool with a foot flush pedal, it's just, it's just not what you tend, generally tend to run into. And this has a very generously sized medicine cabinet to get all of your toothpaste and dental floss and everything out of the way so it doesn't clutter up all your countertop space, which they did leave you plenty of here. Now, as we uh, walk back into the bunkhouse, there is an extra giant just linen cabinet, towel closet. You could throw the kids' clothes and sweaters and jeans in here. You could use this for anything, but every ounce of storage is always important, especially in a bunkhouse, so I like to point that out. Now, both mom and dad and the kids in the back do have a privacy door, not a curtain. Again, this is a J-Flight. It's not bargain brand. Um, your bunk mats in a J-Flight are 50% thicker. They're made by Denver Mattress, which is uh, a well-known, well-respected residential name. Um, I, I, don't, I think Jayco has an exclusivity agreement with them. At least they did. I wouldn't be surprised if more and more people are going to these because they're far more comfortable. They're, they're even warmer. Now, here in this model, if you want to during the day, this lower bed can fold up and get out of the way, but you do see that it does kind of reveal like a little boot box or toy box or shoe box or anything you want to call it. And again, no particle board, no press board, no cheap construction where they don't expect you to look for it. It's all built the same. You won't find that stuff anywhere in a J-Flight. Um, we have all kinds of storage. So you have twin hanging closets, you have some big, big dresser space in here. Um, the entire rear wall right here, this whole section is set up for, a, uh, you could put a TV in here. You see they add the extra fold-up table. That will need to naturally get um, uh, folded down when you're going down the road, but once you hit your destination, it reveals just a ton of storage space and usable countertop function space. Um, over here on this side, notice that even the small windows open for ventilation back here in the bunkhouse. It's, it's absolutely awesome, uh, everything that they're doing for you. Now, each kid gets their own little nightlight. Whoa, that got bright quick. Sorry about that. Um, and easy lift on struts, twin struts to hold that up. So during the day, you can use this like an extension of your living room. There we go. Light from these windows is making this tricky. Now, if you look at the picture tour, I show you all kinds of different ways you can rearrange this cube futon. You can flip it open into a king bed. You can use it like a lounge, a sofa anything you can use it any way you want to it's a great great feature um, just about done moving forward I do like to point out central air and heat part of that thermal package is an enclosed uh, underbelly um, the uh, again mom and dad each have their own privacy doors uh, 
the uh, bed mattress up here. This is a full Denver mattress brand bed that mom and dad get. So not only do the kids get nicer sleeping spaces, but mom and dad do too. Anywhere you find a Jayco, any price point you find a Jayco, they spend more money on your bedding than anybody else. And to me, that says a lot because you spend one third of your life sleeping. That's you know, it's good to do it right. Um, basically, uh, upgraded technology package. That's going to give us the the 32 inch TV that we see here and the all-in-one stereo DVD Bluetooth enabled player here. So it's an all-in-one entertainment system. Does everything for you. Um, TV is on an easy spinner design as you see here. It can obviously be locked in place. But what I like is they finished off the back side of it with this big, big uh, mirror here. But I do want to tell you, there is, there's one problem with this trailer, and it's me. I'm the biggest problem in this trailer, but we can rectify that. I can step out of here at any point, and you don't have to take me with you when you buy this trailer from Halid RV. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Thanks, guys. Hope you had a little fun. Hope you learned something. Happy camping.